Well, the battle over that nursing home for Connecticut prison inmates came directly to the governor's office today. Some neighbors in Rocky Hill have been fighting that proposal in court and at the Capitol ever since it was announced back in early December. Our chief political correspondent Mark Davis is here now with that. Mark? Hi, Darren and Sonia. Good evening, everyone, from the Hartford Newsroom. News 8 has learned that the Malloy administration plans to start moving inmates into that nursing home in just nine days. Hundreds of Rocky Hill residents chatted outside the governor's office after presenting a petition signed by 4,000. They are all opposed to the plan to convert this closed nursing home into a facility for elderly and otherwise infirmed prison inmates off West Street in the middle of a neighborhood full of young families. About 200 braved wind chills in the 20s on the steps of the Capitol to make their point. It's just not the right place for it. It's just, uh, there's no security. And the residents are getting the support of the Correction Officers Union that also believes this kind of facility belongs on prison grounds where there is currently plenty of empty space. Putting inmates, however infirm that you, you might want to call them, is dangerous. And you're putting them in areas of where people go to school, where people go to church. But the governor's office says the inmates that will come here will be nearly incapacitated. He's got uh, people with severe dementia. So just like in many nursing homes, there's locked uh, dementia or Alzheimer's wards. There's going to be other people who are extremely disabled, not able to walk, paraplegics, near death. Residents say they just don't believe that. No, I don't. Things happen. You know, there, there was an issue in Middletown back a few years. Um, things happen. Many in this crowd reference the stabbing death of a little girl in downtown Middletown by an escaped mental patient, even though it was decades ago as a reason to keep the facility out of town. There's other locations like in Mansfield that have existing prisons that are closed or ones like in Cheshire. Why wasn't the thought process maybe um, done a little better in regard before we chose? But the Malloy administration says that this will save the state millions and millions of dollars every year because if these infirmed inmates are in a privately run nursing home they will qualify for Medicaid which means the federal government will pick up half the tab for their expenses. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.